GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing Alpha 10. So, last episode, I started on the construction. I continued a little bit more off camera, and I gathered a little bit more rocks and stuff. So, got that all spinning up in here. Let's see if it's all constructed. I slept for the night, and it should be done. So, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting too far away from my hover vessel, that's fine. Okay, so there we go, we've got a hundred more concrete blocks made. Now, I won't be able to carry them all, see, 57. Okay, well, whatever. What I can do is switch to my other bar, although grabbing this, I would have to put this into here, and then switch to my other bar, and I can't switch to my other bar. Yes, I can. Come on. There we go. So, we could use the hover vessel volume to build with, if we wanted. Or, and I guess, you know, for now, I guess we're going to have to, because I don't have anything else up. But we also have a bunch more stuff built, including a cargo box. So, I think, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a cargo box... Let's spawn the drone. We should be... It looks like it's pretty safe here. I haven't seen any of the critters, the, the water critters spawn at all around here, so I don't think there is a spawn for them. There are the uh, uh, creepers or creepy dudes out there, but if they get too close, I can kill them. They're not too bad. They, they, they're really slow, so it's not that big of an issue. Um... Just don't let them sneak up on you. <laughs> okay. So, let's put this down. Oops. Get back into this. I think I want to use the full 16K one. So that's 16K. That's 16K. That's only 8K. And it's a 2 by one one by one that's 8K. All these small ones are 8K. Yeah, 8K. That one's a new 16K. Airtight True. Let's do that one. Let's do the new one. Uh, where should we put this? Back corner. Then we can do the other stuff in the other back corner. Sure. Let's do that. We'll put this here. And then what we can do is let's grab all our stuff We can put this in our bar. Although, no, wait, I'm derping. Let's put this back into here. What I'm going to show you guys is now that I'm standing really close, I should be able to connect to the new bases controller. There it is there. Or the, the, um, cargo box I should say so 16k there if we connect to that one now we have 16k of storage unit capacity and the weight won't matter at all because it's on a base so let's just grab all this stuff now just want to grab literally all of it And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into here and just disconnect and reconnect really quick. And then uh, I wish I wish there was like if we control clicked or something, it would go into our bar. I don't know, but it'd be nice if we could get this to automatically by clicking some. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm not holding the right key combination to make this go, go directly into my toolbar. Get these heavy ingots in here. And then just disconnect, reconnect. And one more time. This should be plenty. We'll be able to carry the rest on us. So here, let's just do that really quick. Okay, and I want to move this. 
let's jump up here. Okay. And same thing, I'm just going to disconnect, reconnect. I'm going to throw this stuff in there too. Okay. Uh, let's go for the small constructor. And I was looking at the statistics and it's not... My rep is hurting bad. The base size as it grows is going up. This might actually trigger pretty soon. So I think what I might do is I'm just going to switch this to public. It means I won't be able to return whole blocks, but now it's they're not going to attack, right? And I still have full functionality. It's just when if I multi-tool something off or if I try and retrieve a block, I'm just going to get parts for it. I'm not going to get the block back. Uh, there is a chance of getting the block back, but it's it's small. Um, that's okay. I think I want to not get attacks right away. I want to get some some stuff built first. So let's put that down there. I also have the solar panels. So let's get that up and that. We've got more concrete blocks. And I don't know if we're going to bother using more of the wood blocks. We'll see. We'll see. I guess it doesn't really hurt. But okay, so we can't go far from the base because we'll disconnect from because we don't have Wi Fi. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn my drone. I don't, I think what I want to do is I just want to put these, so that's a lot of flat area back there. I'm going to be expanding this base. But I'm probably going to expand out that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up behind the base by hitting N. I'm going to connect to base. Hit N again to get rid of that. Just going to tab to get my uh, radar back. And now I can place these anywhere I want. As long as it's legal. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's put these out here. And there. Okay. So it's raining right now. We're not probably going to generate much electricity. That's fine. I think what I want to do is put this right here right, let's just spin that right there so I want to put the wall starting here like that I know this is just going to be a concrete box really kind of pathetic but this is just I just want to get it built up enough and then we're going to trigger the we're going to flip it to, to private and trigger the attacks Okay, so I guess from here I should just spawn my drone. We'll, we'll make this a base of some sort, right? You know, a serviceable base first. So let's get this built up enough to maybe seal it in for now, I guess. I don't think I'm going to have enough concrete blocks. In fact, I know I won't. Got to spawn the drone. I'll have to go uh, rock hunting. So I said we'd be building this episode, uh, mostly last episode at the end of it, I said we'd be building. So this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that I'm building a, a piece of crap concrete box to, uh, no, it's not a piece of crap. It is a wondrous, beautiful concrete box. I'm so creative. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. What I want to do is go one, two. So this wall is going to come out two squares and we're going to have all our equipment up against it. Right now the, yeah, I know that's not in the right spot. It's whatever. 
whatever. Um, I could, I, I could probably flip it right now. Let's do that, and we'll and we'll remove it. I do have a multi tool, so there we'll just. Okay, so we'll flip it. Let's take a look at the statistics really quick. 16. Oh, crap. That might have triggered. That might have triggered. Let's get this down really quick before it cycles and checks for... Okay, so now we'll go back in and we will flip it back to public. And hopefully we got it in time before we triggered an attack. I don't see any immediately. And it would take a long time for them to show up, I think. So we'll see. We'll just have to be a little bit leery that we may have triggered an attack. And it doesn't necessarily warn you. I've noticed it doesn't necessarily warn you at all. If you've triggered an attack, they'll just all of a sudden, you'll see red dots coming in and it'll be like, oh, crap. Okay, so radar is a must at this point. You must be watching radar at all times if you've potentially triggered an attack. So let's see. We're back down to zero. Okay. Okay, so now let's see what we, let's turn this on. We'll take a look, see what it's generating. Uh, consumption of 11, it's generating 171. That's not too bad. So it's generating some battery power. Um, good. What we want to do right now is we want to continue building. And I think, I don't think we want to go much higher with this. Oops, come on. Three? Are you on three? There you are. What are we at? One, two, three, four. Because we're going to be doing a five by seven. Right? So. We're going to. I'm just thinking of the size of the. Uh, of the door we're putting in. I think it's going to be a 5 by 7 Okay, that's fine. So, right now, what we need to do is... Here, let's get that out of our face. I want to build... We're going to select all oh, the only thing we have. I want to build a larger constructor. So, let's build that. Wi-Fi is a good idea, so we're going to build that. And we should probably do another cargo box. And I did not learn the larger solar panels, so I'm going to have to learn those. Okay. So, hmm. Where am I at? I got a ways to go before 9th. Well, we're going to get some unlock points, I think, when we... See, we didn't craft... Fuel... We didn't get credit for that. That's right. I need to craft a larger um, solar panel to get credit for the craft fuel tank. Now, if I craft a fuel tank... Can I make a fuel tank? Right there. Let's do that. We'll... We'll just craft a fuel tank for now. It's probably not a bad idea. Just throw in a small generator, too. I'll make that, too. I mean, we do have the Prometheum now, because I went out and mined that. So we discovered a bunch of Prometheum that I mined up. I Because last episode, we got friendly with the Polaris, right? So I was able to mine up all the stuff in their zone. Okay, this should be almost ready. We've got a large constructor, that, so we've got some stuff we can put up. Let's do that. Grab this stuff here. The Wi-Fi. Another cargo box. 
So I'm going to put the other cargo box. Let's see. We're going to use the same one, and I just want to throw that up right there. Just puke it up right there. <laughs> I don't know why I said throw that up. Throw that up. Oh, there we go. We built the fuel tank. So we completed that chapter. I think that gave us a bunch of unlock points. Let's take a look. Yep, 20. See, sweet. It's worth doing. And a bunch of XP too. So um, now what we can do is we can go in and unlock some more stuff. Oh, we're having power issues. So we need... We need to put down the generator and the fuel tank. And do we have any fuel made? No. Okay, so we'll have to make some fuel. I guess I could take some out of the hover vessel. Meh. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just won't throw it up, put the other stuff down yet so it doesn't consume any energy. Once we get the small generator down and the fuel tank with, with a little bit of fuel in it, it's not going to be a big... We're not going to have fuel issues. We're not going to have fuel issues. I'll, I'll make... Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of, let's do that. So, I'm going to unlock... For the base, let's unlock the... Got 22 points. Container controller ammo. We've got... Oh, we did unlock the solar panels. Okay, good. Um, hmm. What do I want then? Hover vessel stuff, right? Because I want to build up the hover vessel a bit. Clone chamber. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Make a decent hover vessel. Uh, I'm kind of torn on what I re really should be spending these points on at this point. Kind of torn. I can build a decent hover vessel right now with what I've unlocked. I guess we should start maybe, let's, let's do a uh, small, we'll start working on the small vessel stuff. Oh, wait, can I do, I unlock that, okay. Uh, you know, it's really not that bad of an idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. We can always make a little HV uh, medic chamber with just the cloner and and the uh, and uh, what do you call it? The uh, healing medic center, medic station, the HV one. <laughs> okay, how are we doing on this? That has got some fuel made. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is reconnect to this. Well, I'm already connected. I'm just going to stay connected, add that to my toolbar. I'm going to put this here. Uh, let's put this up this way. And spin this around. All right. There is good. And we'll put the fuel tank up there too. And then we can um, put some fuel in it. Get in through this way. There we go. And boom. There. That'll stop shutting off all the time. Okay. Hmm, where should I put this? I think I want to put the, I think I want to put this here. Like 
that. And then, yeah, nice. Uh, okay. Let's grab stuff from there. We're going to put the output to that one now. And we're actually going to switch that up too. So let's do that. Uh, not here, right there. Change to there. I'm going to put that into there because it doesn't need to be in the construction side. And we'll put the stuff into there too just so that we'll reconnect now. We're going to disconnect from there. Just like that to there. And then we'll go into this container and connect that one. There we go. So now. just blocks it's not construction material going into here okay well, let's put some more fuel in excellent okay so at this point we have lots of fuel this should just keep running for a while I think what I need to do is make some solar panels now that we have the big one out, we can make some solar panels. Let's make oh, one, two, three, four, five of those. Five of those. And let's make a couple lights for now. We're going to need the garage door. energy matrix. Okay, so I need to go find some cobalt. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's put this stuff up. We need the Wi-Fi. Uh, am I going to put another fuel tank up? Probably not. Maybe. Ah, we can always change this later. Whatever. So now, now we got Wi-Fi. There we go. Uh, armor locker. Can we? Should we bother putting that back down? We can just put that over here, I think. Beside the door. Yeah. Okay. So 28 blocks. That ain't going to cover much. That ain't going to cover much at all. That's fine. Let's get a little bit done. And that's it. Okay. So we're out of blocks. We need to find more concrete or, well, rocks. We've got to go rock hunting. We need to get cobalt. We need to get... Um, I think we need to get food too. Where am I at with my food? Oh, I'm I'm actually got quite a bit of food on me, so that's not too bad. So we should also now I think about it. Now that we got fuel, we should probably think about getting some water going, right? So let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm gonna build another base for for uh, or do I need to? No, I. You know what? We're just gonna stick with the one base we're just going to stick with the one base so that it'll guarantee get attacked that way okay um yeah i need to get all the mats for this stuff in the meantime let's make another base starter and we can get some grow lights going Six of those. We've got lots of mats for that stuff. I need to get a food processor going. We're going to need three water generators. should be just tons. And then we'll get a bunch of fuel. I can make fuel in this one. So let's do that. We'll get uh, 10, 20, 50. There we go. That'll make 100. Okay. Well, while it's doing that, 
I'm going to go f fly around and gather some more cobalt and uh, some trees. I need stone. And then I will meet you back here. Uh, and we'll finish this off and, and call it an episode. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, I kind of decided to change it up a bit. And for the end of the episode, what I'm going to do is you'll notice that the starter vessel is gone. Yeah, I nuked it down and I have a better one that I built before. Um, and it's in my blueprint factory ready to spawn in. So let's do that because <laughs> the starter one was just not cutting it. So we're going to bring out my mini pre-miner. And what I mean by pre-miner, it's set to handle uh, six drills when I hit level 10. So let's spawn that in. And oh, right there. Fine. That's good enough. Okay, so that's the back of it there. We have, uh, well, thrusters, yeah, but we do have some, what, are they both? Oh, yeah, that's orange wood. Oh, right, it's just I painted it green. <laughs> so there's one ammo. So, hmm, I'm not sure if I like that config, how I have that. So I'll have to see how this works with the, I did test it a bit and it seemed okay. It doesn't seem really tippy. It just, it can't handle a lot of weight, though. It really can't handle a lot of weight. So, I was able to get a boat. I think about 130 tons, 140 tons before it bottomed out last time, would I remember? So, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, and it's got, it's only got about 4K of storage. I don't know why it said 8K. I think it was before they modified uh, the extensions, how much smaller extensions could hold because I think it used to hold 8k and then they modify that and the whole thing is all small extensions really it's just a shell of small extensions so yeah <laughs> uh, I lost a lot of weight or I lost a lot of uh, storage okay so there we have it our little starter it's it's basically low enough level. It's level five that it could be a starter. Uh, let's take a look. So unlocks at level five. Ha needs 166 iron, 244 silicone, 276 carbon substrate, 270 carbon ingot or sorry copper ingots. So it's not too expensive but I did find that uh, having a quick little starter vessel from the um, using the the cheapo propul propulsors is good enough to get you around at the beginning to get enough mats to build something like this so now that I have this it can handle way more than what the starter one could even though that this is technically a starter in my in my opinion it's a starter even though it's got some gatling guns uh and a constructor i still consider it a starter because it's only level five and it's fairly cheap plus it can help you level quite a bit so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna i guess i should actually did i not make any, oh wait, I had some from before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can put this into, oh, we can't. We can't. I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to, here, let's pop this off. Can I do that? If I pop that off, will it? Will this work? I don't know if it's going to work. What I want to do is put, yeah, it'll work. I don't have... That's okay. We've got enough mats. Yeah, we got enough mats. Yeah, I, I had to eat up quite a few of my mats to actually build that thing. So, um, Well, let's make a wireless connector for it. And then we can transfer all the stuff into it. 
And that will be it for the episode. So next episode, we'll take it out exploring. I think I'll make a detector for it, too. And then... Yeah, I got water generators going. What am I at, level 8? I think we need to try and hit level 10 and get some drills on this thing and really crank up the... Uh, the ore output so that we can build up this base quicker and, uh, and and put up some guns and stuff. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call it an episode here. Uh, next episode, we will do... A, is there anything even worth exploring? Yeah, there's a little bit more. So we'll take this thing out and finish exploring the planet next episode and hopefully get to level 10. That's going to be the goal. So until then... You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.